hello everyone you're welcome back to this youtube channel this is steve here and in this video tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to set up your alipi after you have signed up and how to also link it with 1688 for easy payment so what i will advise you to do is actually to pay close attention listen to it to the explanations and pay attention to each and every please i'm going to navigate on these apps okay now after you have signed up for alipi this is how you should have the alipi look like it must not be exactly like this but just something similar like this so no matter what interface you are having at least you should be able to see account or me down the page by the right down corner of the page so i'm going to click on that before we go there the, you can see there's a notification here saying allow alipay payment and other important notifications so i'm just going to close this away if anything pop up that you don't understand or you don't know its function don't accept instead cut it off so i'm going to click account here so in some phones or some versions of alipay you're going to see me instead of account Say the same thing you're going to click on it and then first of all what you may want to do is actually to uh come over to the right top corner here and click on settings and then you will click on account and security account and security you can see it here you allow it to load up and then you're going to scroll down and you look at login password login password so you click on login password and then what you basically want to do here is to change the login password now you need to pay close attention you click they say you have passed the security check you can now proceed and change the login password directly i'm seeing this because my network is actually very very good at the moment if you are having weak connection there are some times they may they will send a code to your phone number for you to enter the code before you confirm or just there are some certain versions of alipay that they will do that kind of thing so whether you have done that or they have not seen the code just any interface you see just follow it follow the prompts i'm going to click on change now and clicking on change now there are still some of the phones that they will ask you do you remember the password that your phone number on this particular account is using then you will say no so from there they will also send you a code to your phone number so you enter the code and then uh, they will allow you to set the password but me i just passed that stage expressly to this uh, particular step here so they didn't take me to that stage i'm just explaining in case you see something slightly different from what i'm showing here you shouldn't be overwhelmed or you shouldn't get distracted or confused so i'm now going to enter my password now pay attention first your password must have this kind of criteria one your password must be letters this is not numbers if you are going to be typing one two three four five they are not going to uh, allow you set that password they will keep giving you errors the password must be letters and the letters must be six to twenty letters that is the letters the lowest number of the letters should be six and then the highest should be 20 it shouldn't exist to, uh, i mean it shouldn't exceed 20 and it shouldn't be less than six letters in total that is the first criteria and then the second criteria your password must have a number it can be one or two numbers mixed with those letters that i just explained now or just a single number all right and then thirdly the password must have a character it can be one or two or three characters and what are the characters see the characters here all these at hash dollar percent uh raise to and star less than greater than all these things that all of them are what letters so you can use any of them or even full stop don't use space your password must not have a space it must not have a space okay you can see here 8 to 20 letters the password must be 8 to 20 letters rather so currently it's 8 to 20 letters not six letters 
before then it used to be six to twenty letters but right now it's eight to twenty letters so it must be all eight to twenty letters now i'm just going to enter any random password here and i'm not going to hide it because i'm not setting it i'm just showing you an example so let's say i will just try to say if my name is chuka my name is chuka let's say my name is chuka chuka tony so i will just say chooks at tony Chooks at Tony. Chooks at Tony 2024. You can see an example of password. This is a very strong password. It's having capital letters. It's having a. It having numbers. In my case, I'm having up to even four numbers here. And then I'm also having a letter. So that is an example of the password. So after you are done with that, you just click save. And that is it. After you have set that login password, you're going to step back. You will step back, step back again, and then you locate payment password. So you click on payment password. And then what they're showing here is that um let me translate on my second phone. <laughs> You say you have not set a payment password yet please set it and continue so you just click here click by the right you say set payment password and then go continue click there and you allow it to load again oh so i got to a point on the android phone where they refused that i couldn't record so i had to continue with my iphone and then after clicking on payment settings this is what you're going to have here so you're going to click on payment password so you just allow it to load like this and then they're asking do you remember the password this email is using if your phone number is on the app you should be having if you use your phone number then you should be having uh do you remember the password your phone number which will appear there in short form is using so if you already set just click no let me know overwhelm you with the explanation just click no now allow it to load so they're going to send the code to my phone number see the code here so the code is three six eight six eight six three six eight six eight six that is my own code wow they say is a wrong code let me check uh so three six eight six eight six okay three six eight six eight six okay that is the code now after that they're going to take me to this particular page there are some times when that previous stage that i just passed now you will not be taken there depending on how strong your connection is they will just take you immediately you click on login i mean um payment password it will just take you straight away to this particular stage so no matter what the pattern they use for you or the method they are use i mean your device is using it shouldn't confuse you so what i'm basically going to do here is to enter my payment password like whatever i want to set as payment password i'm going to enter here now payment password shouldn't be mistaken to login password there are two passwords on alipi which the, the previous one we said is used to login why this particular one is used for payment if you have your banking application you must have a login password on your banking application and you must also have um what is called payment pin okay so it's the same thing with alipay so the login password is for logging in which works on one application and alipay app 
and then the login password i mean the payment password is basically for payment it's only when you want to make payment that they will require payment password there are some certain times when you're logging in after they have asked for your login password they may decide to ask for payment password just to confirm is you but what i want to, you to understand is that payment password is for payment so i'm going to enter the dj so don't use anything like one two three four five they will reject can you see do not use continuous numbers that is one two three da, 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 da. use different number you can decide to cut off your date of birth maybe your let's say your month of birth with your year of birth or you can decide to use uh the date of the month in which you were giving birth and then use the month and then you just cut off and mix up or any number it can be some digit on your phone number just any random number but it shouldn't be continuous number okay so when you are done with that you are just going to click done and it will be set i don't want to reset payment password this is my main alipi i don't want to temper with anything here okay so when you are done with that that will be all for that now after you are done with that the next thing you are going to do is for you to go and um uh link your 1688 to alipi you must link your alipi to 1688 before you will be able to get your tabal account or 1688 account and for you to make payment as well so for you to do that you're going to go over to your 1688 account so you click on the 1688 uh app and then this is what you're going to see this is i downloaded this 1688 newly here and i haven't set up anything just for this tutorial so you click on the red button you allow it to load so this is what you're going to have and then you see this is popping up i will click allow they're asking me whether i want to be receiving notification or allow if you want you can just leave it you won't allow anyhow you want it so i'm not going to click first of all i'm going to click this little cycle here that is the service agreement when i click i'm going to click this button this blue button in the middle here and then it will take me to my early pay and then it will ask me for this now i want to step back and show you something there are times if you forget to click this red uh this little cycle here and then you go straight and click here this message will pop up then you click service agreement meaning you didn't agree for the service agreement that time so you're going to now click here to agree and then it will take you here here that the redirecting to your lp so you're going to click confirm and login so you want you are logging in with your word so most of you using some certain devices you're going to get stuck here while trying to link your alipay to 1688 now there is no cause of alarm if you have this you are going to send a message on whatsapp with the phone number on this video so we're going to uh, give you a link to get access to the tutorial we have prepared on how to navigate this particular place so that is what you're going to do so i'm going to proceed straight away to the people who are not having this but are actually going to be taken to the next step which i'm going to be showing here come with me meanwhile for most of other people immediately you click on confirm and login and boom it will log you into your account now you're going to click this head icon by the right side here and then you can see your taba accounts on the top right corner of your screen so it's as simple as that now after you have gotten this taba account what you are meant to do is basically is for you to copy the taba account this taba account here copy it starting from that tb continuously to the end write it somewhere just write it somewhere you can never forget or lost it is also known as your 1688 account that is what you're going to use to log into 1688 and tab out anywhere anytime so that is all for this video if you are attending our master class you go back to the class to get what you are going to do next and then if you are seeing us from youtube you're just going to smash the like button subscribe and turn on the notification so that anytime we post these kind of videos you're going to get notified and if you have questions you're going to drop on the comment section i will check them and reply thank you guys i'm signing out